All right, what's going on everybody? Joel G7.3 back again today with another banger content for y'all today. Today's actually not going to be a truck content video, even though I do drive Duramax. Did I mention I drove Duramax? Oh, I did. Today in this video, we're gonna be helping out a friend of mine instead on his 2023 Can-Am Defender. We're gonna be installing some new high lifter apex front arm control, front control arms for it. Up. Oh yeah, I got plenty of duct tape. I got uh, super glue. I mean, this thing should be in like tip top shape in no <laughs> time. Furs and lowers that are gonna push them forward two inches and give you about an inch and three quarter clearance. That's what she said. But we are not mechanics by no means, so don't take, this is not a step-by-step -step video. This is more like a general install and what it looks like after type of video. Hope y'all enjoy. Hope y'all get some uh, value out of this video. So hope y'all enjoyed this video and we're gonna get this B out trolling. See if we can't break this machine soon. <laughs> That's the name of the game. Bag of miscellaneous parts. We figure we'll throw that out. Yep. <laughs> so what does that do? Just just the upper and lower arms raise it? Yep. So the upper and lower arms have got an arch built into it where it's gonna give it a little bit of lift. It's also gonna bring everything forward so we're not gonna rub in the back so much. Oh, uh, oh so I see the curve now. Supposedly with just this we can clear 32 inch tires. Mm-hmm. Luckily with this, we should be able to clear at least 33s or 34s. Of course, we're going to torque these down all the way because we're total garbage that doesn't care about ride quality at all. <laughs> oh yeah, I got plenty of duct tape. I got uh, super glue. I mean, this thing should be in like tip top shape in no time. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a 2023, so they build them pretty tough. Alrighty, so what we got to do now, we're going to definitely need a wrench to take off that nut on the bottom. Okay. So, I mean, I'm 80% sure that we've got it in this pile. <laughs> Whatever wrench we need is not in that pile. We'll probably have to go to Home Depot afterwards. Uh, let's see. We're doing all off of the gun so we got to get a filter cloth. Okay. But so we can back it up right to the seawall. Sockets and ratchet. Trying to pay off issues at the same time, so. Yeah, man. Brake line loose. Cotter pin out of the top. Got that bolt off. Got the bolt off the bottom one. And I loosened up that nut. And actually found on this one, if you look inside, there's a little cover that you pop off, choke. And you get access to that right there. And it's all seems like all these are 15 millimeters. So we're only gonna show doing one side because it's boring to show both sides. So mm -hmm. yeah, I was like, damn. I already took all my nuts off. <laughs> That's why I get paid the big bucks. All right, just putting the new grease fittings into the uppers. The lowers came with new ones, but the uppers didn't. So we had to pull the old ones out. Got to put them in the new one. Oh my God, they don't fit, Steven. What? <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so I'm going to throw the upper in. Oh, yeah, choke. Well, that makes up for the bottom one. Yeah, but oh, mighty. There you go. Stick your ball down. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> you ever leave the cotter pins off of one of these? 
Not yet, but like I said, I experienced riding on a vehicle or someone did. I crossed it. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so we're gonna tie the rope. On three. One, two, three, right? Is that what you mean? Lucy, what are you doing? All right, so I'm gonna spend two hours trying to get a wrench on here to tighten this one up. So. Two hours? Yeah. Should have spent at least six. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Look at all the shit on the ground. <laughs> Just care of professionals here. Yeah, all right, so we like got, got this side good. done. Put the floor off for the brake line. Professional. It's good to go. Got a lot of duct tape, super glue on it. Got all the wrenches. <laughs> Half bear. <laughs> oh yeah. What's out for my wrenches, Joe? Oh, from this angle, it definitely looks taller in the front. From up here, it looks like taller in the back. View. Side view. It, it honestly sits like my truck does. Where it's like so, we should have done some measurements beforehand. I didn't even really get to take a good look like at it. Some it looks good in the front. Mm -hmm. It's all shiny. I didn't think I got my finger that good earlier. Look at this. Yeah. Still doing that. There goes the bucket. Good thing we got plenty of buckets. Oh, that one was actually already cracked, so. Yeah. 